Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Sunday after Sunday evening, and tonight we're gonna have prime time Amy Lee on as we're gonna discuss her match against Matt Tremont for H2O Brutality September 12th in Blackwood, New Jersey at the Do CZW Dojo. Let's uh, let's have fun it's Sunday night. Let's get going here. As Deathmatch Trussell brings you the best talent, stars, managers, wrestlers, the works. Let's have a fun night of wrestling talk. Are you ready? So we're waiting for my caller to call in. Be ready. <clears throat> And other fun things about wrestling events and general fun stuff at all. We're going to go back to we'll talk about careers to you name it. It's great topics tonight. Sunday night edition of Deathmatch Russell Podcast. Good evening, Amy. And how are hey, you? What's up? How you doing tonight? Prime time, time yeah, Amy Lee. I just came back from Starbucks, got my iced ah. iced coffee to perk myself up for this interview. Oh my god. So how are you doing tonight? It's Sunday. What's that? I said it is Sunday. I just came back from um, last night's uh, CZW event. I watched um, Matt 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 um, yeah. Matt Match. Yes. Dreamy. Yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. It was awesome to be there and to see it. Yeah. It was. I heard there was like a thousand people there. It was crowded. Yeah. It was packed. We. It was packed. Yeah. You know, as usual. It, you know, for a sellout show. So. Yeah. But how you doing anyway? How you been? Good. 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 Just getting yourself uh, prepared for this September twelfth. As H2O presents Brutality, as you go one-on-one -on -one with the Matt Tremont. Yes, I do. Uh, yes, you do. Are you uh, ready to uh, take it on? Take them on and go for it. Full well, force. it's so funny because yeah. I was um, going through my old t-shirt. Yeah. Um, we're kind of like downsizing in the house. You know, you're trying to get yeah. rid of the clutter. So yeah. I found Matt's first wrestling t-shirt. From his very first promotion, he from his very first show he did mm. back in May's Landing. Yeah, oh my God, it was over ten years ago. Oh wow! And that's why I met him for the first yeah. time. and he was doing backyard wrestling. Yeah, and I saw that he had a lot of potential and stuff, and he yeah. had that that gleam in his eye of passion. I said, mm -hmm. "Look, if you really want to learn how to wrestle, come work out with me. I'll show yeah. you the fundamentals." But I said, "You're yeah. going to move on to somebody else, depending on what kind of style you want to do." Yeah. It's not really my style. You need to go to like a CZW or something. But if you want to do this, go here and yeah, yeah. So he showed up and he had a an eye piercing over his, his um, eye, and I looked at him and I go, mm. "Either you take that out, or I'm gonna rip it the fuck out." And he was like, <laughs> "Looked at yeah. me," and I said, I, "I don't, I don't go for that shit." No, you know, it's no. Because I said those, those kind of piercings yeah. can hurt somebody. They can. They can. That's great. Yeah, that's how we became lifelong friends. Yes, and you're gonna take him on. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be fun. Well, it's pretty funny because he reached yeah. out to me and yeah. he said, uh, huh. "He says, you know, he says, I'm gonna get to wrestle Anita. He goes, you know, I'm pretty much got to wrestle everybody. I want to film and wrestle Havoc and stuff." Yes. He said, "There's just one other person on my bucket list," and I was like, "Who's that?" And he goes, 
you, Mom. And I was like, <laughs> Uh-oh. Really? I was like, yeah. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> you know? And I was like, because I, I always said to Matt, I said, yeah. Matt, people like you and I, yeah. they're not, they're not going to promote us as baby faces. They're no. not going to promote us as sex guys. We're going to be like the working man's era. Yeah, yeah. You know, or that fucking lonely fat chick in the crowd's era. Yeah. That's yeah. who we're going to be. Yeah. Ordinary people are going to relate to us because we look like ordinary people. I know. You know. I know. Botox and silicone and all that. No. Right off. No. God and knows. Said, no, you got to be able to talk on a microphone. And I exactly. Said, and you got to be able to kick your ass. <laughs> yeah. So you know, coming out built like he is, you can't come out there. No. Lucha, lucha style wrestling. Yeah. People look at that and go, what? what the hell is that shit? I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. It's crazy, but it's a great night. We're a great night of guys and talent that are coming, and I think there's some females on the card too. I believe, also, I think there's like a ladies match. That'll be a, yeah. a showcase yeah. match too. So that'll be a great to see. I've actually seen Maddie Max actually in VOW once before. She's pretty good. She's. Um, I don't know if she because of uh, sc- uh, yeah conflict of scheduling if she's actually going to be there. Oh. But I know Maria Manic is going to be there. Oh, cool. And, um, the, uh, I know um, the opponent's going to be... I, I don't really know. Yeah. Any, you know, I, I won't lie to you. I no. really don't know who's on the card. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you've been doing it for almost 30 years, you're like, when somebody says you're booked for a show, you're like, okay. Back yeah. in the day, you're like, oh, who's on there? Yeah. Ooh, oh, okay. 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 Let's hear it. That, I know. You that opportunity to network is a... No. You get to be my age, and you've been around. You've I been know, you know how it goes. Yeah, you're booked here, you're booked there. Come on, you know. It's like, yeah. it's like whatever. You lose your spot. It's all good, you know. I'm like, all right. I'm like, listen. If, when do you need me? Okay. And I, and that's yep. been my motto. Like, I don't worry yeah. about everybody else that's on the card. Yeah. You know? I just worry about my match. My match. And getting, what I need to do. Yep, and get out of there and have fun. <laughs> yeah. You know. Because you get to see a lot of friends and get, you know, people you, you know, oh, yeah. like me, like Amy. We go back from years and years of going to show, you know, be seeing you in the ring. And, you know, it's great to, you know, it's just great to see you all the time, you know, in the business. I always love how you, you know, interact with the crowd and, you know, you're great. Well, that's, that, that's the thing. I know. That, see, when, like, I'll sit there, like. We sat there one night yeah. after a WSU show. And yeah. You're talking about like the creme of the la creme of women's indie. You yeah. had Mercedes Martinez yes. there. You had Lufista. Yeah. You had Mia. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. You had Leva Bates. Yeah. Herself, yeah. Yeah. And then you had uh, Jana. Yeah. Who used to be one half of the Solstice WSU, who's who was a Hall of Famer in WSU, mm-hmm. and she was trained by like Kevin Knight. No, so she, yeah. she she understands. So we're all sitting there talking about the business. Yeah. And, you know, I'm listening to them, and I'm like, guys, the one thing that really is my pet peeve about the business anymore yeah. is people worry so much about their physicality. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, I said that they lose reality. The reality is yeah. these people are paying to see, to see us wrestle. Yep. Without the indies, I don't give a fuck who you are. No. Without the indies, no. you're not going to have wrestling. Yeah. Okay? Yep. So you W gets a lot of their talent and stuff like that from, from the May Young class from girls that do indie. I know. Like that. I know. <clears throat> you know? Yeah. So I said to them, I said, I always make it a point. I, I don't go out all the time. No, I no. I don't overwhelm people. But when I'm out there in the crowd, I'm not nasty to people. If somebody asks me for a picture, I take a picture with yeah. them. Yeah. You know, yeah. if if somebody has a conversation with me, I'm not rude to that. No. Okay? You can't be rude to people because, really, they're paying. Yeah. They're paying for your service. Mm-hmm. Okay? It's a legality service. Yeah. They're paying to see your ass entertain them. Yeah. So, whether it's having a conversation, I'm not saying they have the right to violate your privacy. Sure. But I, I you know... I, I say to girls all the time, yeah. they say, oh, this one gave me a gift, or that one gave me a gift. And then when that person wants to stand there and talk to them for 20 minutes, they get pissed off. And I'm like, you can't do that, because you're accepting this person. Then it goes out thing. Then it goes out on the media, and it's, you know, it's ridiculous. Yeah. You know? And I said, you're accepting this person's gift, mm-hmm. and now, because you take their gift that you can just shoo them off. It doesn't work that way. No. Like, they're diehard fans. They yes. took their hard-earned money yep. and took their time out of their life to I buy know. something. I know. I'm not saying that you got to kiss their ass and no. tell them all your intimate secrets. I'm not saying that. But you can't be nasty to them. Yeah. And that's one thing, like, a lot of the girls didn't understand. No. And I said to them, there's a way of handling people. Mm-hmm. You have to. And that's what people don't understand anymore. They don't understand the importance of a promo. They don't understand yeah. the importance 
of interacting with your fans. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, to me nowadays, yeah. pro wrestling, it's, it's, I watch girls that come out and they yeah. spend all this time, hair extensions, tit jobs, uh, <laughs> yeah. fake eyelashes, yep, yep. Socks, all this, yeah. and then you get in the ring and you're the fucking shit. Yeah. You're all sizzling, no steak. Or then you have girls who look like a hot mess going to the ring, yeah. but they're actually phenomenal, and I yeah. feel bad for them because yeah. I'm like, nobody taught you. No, no. You're right. Nobody taught you. That's and cr- then when I sit yeah. there and I try and teach somebody, yeah. you know, they look at you like, well, who the fuck are you? You just work the indies. Yeah. So my answer is, you're right, I did work the indies. But yes. guess what? Huh. On the indies. For the past 30 years, yeah. people paid my fat ass to wa- to yes. fucking eel. Exactly. People put me on TV to the company as their bad person. I know. People pay to see me. I know, even DVDs, come on, you were on, you had those DVDs, WX, you know, when WEW had their, that promotion, you know, you're a, Every single, I know. I have worked, uh, yeah. I tell people all the time, I have been able, I've been very fortunate to pick and choose who I want to work yeah. for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at one time, at mm-hmm. one time. I was working for, mm-hmm. I was on TV yeah. almost every night in the, in the tri-state area of yeah. Philadelphia, of, of uh, yeah. Pennsylvania, yeah. Jersey, and Delaware, and even parts of New York. Mm-hmm. I worked for WEW, yeah. I worked for PWU, yeah. I worked for WXW, and it was five nights of wrestling, yeah. and I was on three of the five nights. That's so awesome, you know? People... As a heel, as a uh, yeah. same fucking character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they wouldn't even know. People even probably never even realized, you know? They'd probably just been like, oh, okay, you know. Still there? No. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So, you know, yeah. that, that, it is what it is, you know. It's sure. the ignorance because you have to remember back in the day you mm-hmm. had you had women wrestlers training women wrestlers. Now mm-hmm. you have men training women, but they're not teaching yeah. them. Yeah. You know, when you leave the house in the morning, mm-hmm. put your foundation on, have your hair halfway done. Yeah. You should always touch it up when you get to the arena because if you get lost, you break down this, that, and the other. Yep. You can't take two hours getting ready. No. And that was one thing when we worked at WSU for Sean the Mitt. Mm-hmm. He would say to the girl, I want you here at 1 o'clock. Yeah. Meet and greet at 3 o'clock. You better be fucking yeah. ready to roll because if you don't, then you're done. And I t- that was his rule. That's yeah. part of your pay. With the meet and greet, mm-hmm. and and the, and the funny, the fucked up part of it was yeah. people used to complain. He would tell them about it, yeah. and then they would make a ton of money on the meet and greet. Plus, yeah. they were getting paid to wrestle. But yeah, you don't want to put makeup on and do your hair ahead of time. <laughs> what the so hell? Retarded. Yeah, like really, wow. really? Yeah. Like I, 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 one time I actually got so aggravated yeah. on how they were in the like mm-hmm. the young, not the older ones, but yeah. the younger ones that were coming up, mm-hmm. and I stood in the ring and I said. Do you people really think these young girls nowadays give a shit about you? No. They just want your money. So they'll yeah. be like, hi, how you doing? And then once they get their money, they're going to push you off. Mm-hmm. I'm like, think about this. You're paying 20 bucks to see this chick here, yeah. and she don't even have the decency to put her fucking fake eyelashes on or some yeah. lip gloss. But yeah. you like 20 bucks from you for this airbrush photo. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Like some of the fans were, getting, were like, hey, he's least right. So when I start cutting into their pockets, the girls were like, you need to stop. They were bitching a mix. You yeah. know what Sean the Mick said? Well, then, do, you know, he goes, this is somebody who's been around a long time. He goes, guess what? He goes, she's my ultimate heel. She has the most yes. hard-ass character as yeah. a biker chick. Uh-huh. She's stereotyped. Yeah. He goes, but guess what? Her hair and her makeup's always done. She's always appropriate. Yep, she absolutely. She looks like her photos. Uh-huh. He's like... You know, you guys are getting these glamour shots, but you don't look like these glamour shots. No, I know. You want the 20 bucks for them. Yeah, just so you could get a spray tan. Come on, really? Yeah, yeah come on. <laughs> I can't deal with all that. No. Right. No. <laughs> It is, but no, it's, it's, too much. it's too much. This day and age, I know it's changed. It's changed, you know. It's changed tremendously. Yeah, but uh, I will make my way to that show. I shall be at the WSU next coming up. I want to. I'm going to make sure I get out there, and I will be there, Amy. Well, the H two O show, um, yeah, uh, Bulldozer Tremont versus me is mm-hmm. um, a fans bring weapons match. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, we figured. Listen. First of all, I'm going to be 48 on that day. 